హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ అంతరాజు సిఎస్సి సబ్జెక్ట్ ట్యూటర్ నౌ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద కోర్స్ సో విఆర్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ అండ్ సెకండ్ టాపిక్ ప్రీ ప్రాసెసింగ్ రైట్ సో ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ సెకండ్ పోర్షన్ ప్రీ ప్రాసెసింగ్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు కవర్ ప్రీ ప్రాసెసింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ నౌ యాక్చువల్లీ ద మై టీచింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ ఈజ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు స్టార్ట్ this concept with the help of one small story yes so these are the concepts so first of all so now i will cover for the first topic why pre process the data why why uh, that is required right now the story is it, it begins with a kid named bunny right he is a kid now one day he asked his mother 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 please prepare a biryani so i like biryani i would like to eat now he requested his mother right now what is the uh, strategy of mother generally every mother immediately uh, her child asks anything they are ready to do that right that is the beauty of the mother now the mother decided i will prepare biryani today clear the next thing immediately she went to the market okay uh, where there are multiple shops are available she picked up required vegetables in a bag like this finally he went to home and he he arranged she arranged all these vegetables in a rack like this later she picked up what are the vegetables which are required to prepare biryani right on a plate on a plate like this now can can directly we, she can able to prepare biryani with this vegetable in this particular format no it is not possible why then what she need to do she need to clean those particular vegetables vegetables may be having some necessary uh, what do you call uh, you can say uh, dust on the particular surface of the vegetable so we need to clean those things so as usual our mother will do the same thing right she is also clean those particular vegetables with the water next what she did she cut or uh, make it as a pieces like this and all these particular vegetables uh, converted as this particular format to this particular format so now these particular vegetable the pieces of vegetables are now available and suitable to prepare biryani right finally she add some she added some uh, ingredients and finally the biryani is prepared now uh, she can show this food to his uh, to her uh, chair so like that so finally the bunny enjoyed this particular biryani uh, item and he liked a lot so this is the ultimate story clear now if you apply the same concept in a technical aspects so i will just uh, compare this particular example with the technical aspects as this particular example according to the example real world is having a lot number of data that is available in the market a huge amount of data is available now what we need to do in order to oh, what do you call analyze that particular data we have to bring the data to your warehouse that means your kitchen next you have to convert that particular data according to your suitable format where you can able to do mining so like applying some techniques called pre processing techniques to clean those particular data and to reduce the particular data into some extent so like that you are going to apply and finally this particular data is available to do the mining now okay focus on the technical aspects example consider all electronic is a company where it will produce number of what do you call electronics devices right and here is a manager now what is the task of the manager is so he need to analyze the company's data right with respect to sales sales at that particular branch where he is working right now what he need to do 
he need to rush to the database or data warehouse where the company data is available he need to pick up the manager need to pick up the data warehouse so the data which is there in the database or data warehouse now whenever he picked up the data and he he you need to identify whenever he identify this particular data like this the item the data may be having the item price unit sold these are the some attributes which are there in the database with respect to the sales now with respect to these things he, he need to do the analysis now whenever he picked up all these things uh, he will wonder why because there are several attributes that are not recorded right them some attributes they, they are not at all recorded due to so many reasons there are so many problems whenever you uh, picked up the data like this right so you would like to include the information as to whether each item purchased was advertised as a sales so this is the thing we what we have, what we need required here here the requirement is the manager has to understand how many people are purchasing depends upon the advertisement by seeing the advertisement how many people are uh, doing the sales is is that is possible to make a note on the particular sales time no may or may not but most probably no right so now if later in the case if we need the data won't be available right so now this is the problem here that means the data which we picked up the manager picked up from the data uh, warehouse or database the data may be incomplete first thing the data may be noisy data may be inconsistent so out of these three things right the there are possibility or possibilities are there the data may be incomplete data the data may be noisy the data may be inconsistent if we focus little bit more on this incomplete noisy and inconsistent right so incomplete data say they what actually it focus on lacking attribute values or certain attributes of interest or uh, containing only aggregate data so data is not available the attribute may not be available and some are may be aggregated that means that is not completed the data is available but that is not completed the, those sort of the, uh, examples you can consider incomplete of the data coming to the noisy data so here in this example in this category the data is available but the outlier is available uh, that means outlier values in the sense that is not related right for example consider a body temperature you are measuring body temperature your body temperature is example uh, uh, 90 degrees celsius right now if it shows 120 or 130 what it means the data is what do you call outlier right outlier data so like that that is a noisy data data is available but not correct next coming to the third category inconsistency so here the data will be available there won't be any uh, noisy data but there is a duplications are going to be there why because uh, uh, the same data may be presented all, all over the database with, with respect to different names i will tell you one example also in the coming slide right so before going to do that first of all let us understand why this incomplete data occur right what are the reasons so incomplete data may occur due to the hardware errors software errors or human intention or unintentional errors right and finally sometimes attribute may not be available as i told you in the previous example uh, most of the times people won't focus on uh, whether the purchase is depend upon sales or not okay right see if we extend the incomplete data may occur due to what so these are the things such as customer information for sales transaction data simply because it is not considered important at that particular time of entry as i told you that so people may not be interested right they they want to know whether the sales is depends upon the advertisement or not most of the time they, they won't ask you right in the while you are doing the billing right so later if they need the data won't be available next relevant data may not be recorded due to a misunderstanding or because of equipment malfunction malfunction right this is this is another reason right relevant data may not be recorded and 
they think that that is not uh, important at that particular point that is the reason they won't at all they won't focus on recording of the particular data data that were inconsistent with other record data may have been deleted so whenever uh, one particular point of view they are going to focus on the data sometimes they think that this data is not available not uh, important at that particular time they completely remove the data attributes or fields whatever it may be that leads to the future incompleteness right so like that so these are the possible uh, what do you call uh, situations where these are the reasons to uh, leads to the incomplete of the data fine coming to the noisy data why the noisy data will occur the data is available but having some errors why so here these are the reason the data collection instrument use may, uh, may be faulty as i told you uh, uh, the temperature uh, thermal meter right for example the thermal meter is not working in a proper way my body temperature is shows uh, 130 140 degrees automatically why depends upon the uh, the malfunctioning of the instrument next second reason there may have been human or computer errors uh, occurring at data entry okay it's quite common next thing is error in the data transmission can also occur while the data is transferred from one location to another location one branch to another branch there may be loss of data and transformation also going to be uh, uh, it leads to the errorness right next thing is there may be technological limitations such as limited buffer size that is one more reason from uh, inconsistencies in naming conventions or data cubes data cores used inconsistent format of input files such as dates see so here the data one one if you define one data uh, as a date in the format like dd mm yy and you are using in the form of uh, uh, yyy dd mm like that so that means that it leads to the inconsistency as well as uh, that gives the error what do you call noisy data not inconsistent that's a noisy data now i will tell you what actually inconsistency here inconsistency is something like that see in the database where one one particular database it's having the customer number the title the attribute name the column name is attribute number and in another column the customer id and another column i mean in another database customer cust underscore id so these three things are same these three, three things are represent the same customer id identification number but here the numbering uh, the naming of the attribute is different right so that means whenever you are going to met the databases then these three things are going to be different uh, what do you call uh, identified as unique so that is not that should not be happen right this, so this is called uh, data inconsistency so well uh, finally what we can able to say whenever the today's real world databases are highly what do you call uh, susceptible to noisy and missing finally inconsistent data due to typically huge size so whenever there are the data is in the terabytes of the uh, size in the size that means whenever if you working on data on the particular uh, uh, huge amount of data obviously the data may be noisy missing and inconsistent now how we can able to overcome all these issues how we can able to overcome all these issues so we can able to overcome all these issues with the help of the pre-processing technique so pre-processing technique so these are the four pre-processing technique so we'll focus these things in the coming uh, lectures like data cleaning data integration data transformation and finally data reduction so these are the four techniques as i told you in the first example the raw vegetables are going to be converted and uh, what do you call processed before going to do the cooking the similar way the raw data is going to be processed by applying all these particular four techniques and finally that will be suitable to the mining process right so like this we are going to do the pre-processing techniques so in the coming slide we'll we'll analyze in depth how each and every each and every technique is going to be implemented or with the help of examples right so we'll meet again in the uh, next lecture so until then so keep learning keep following these lectures so we'll meet again in the next lecture right so subscribe to my channel share to your friends and other colleagues happy learning thank you